it was it was it was very brave and we've had this discussion all the time <laughs> where people with a platform should they use their platform to make these kinds of political right. statements i think yes i would as long first of all i call bs on saying that it's brave to call out the president it's more brave to be a conservative in hollywood i have i have no friends personally who have been blackballed for their political beliefs yeah. i like eminem i always have that being said just let me listen just one second and then i no, really no, would like ahead, your baby. perspective so i remember when eminem went after president bush when i was younger and he said quote i don't i don't rap for dead presidents i'd rather see the president dead and he was actually investigated by the secret service in 2003 and i think for me what's so interesting what i think is help breed trump is when all republicans are Nazis and the worst and awful sometimes if you cry wolf hard enough the wolf will eventually show up in one form or another and I would be curious if Mike Pence were president would some of these people who have all these problems still have the same problems with him that they do with well, we Trump? Don't I, we don't well, know. I don't know but I, w I, I will I will say this you know People, when they speak their mind as themselves, it is a brave move because yeah. it's very dangerous and people will take you out. People will come up and spit on you, hit you, yell yeah. at you, kick you. Mm -hmm. But it's more socially things. acceptable to be liberal in Hollywood than it is to be conservative. It's actually not actually acceptable to be... Here's the thing. Hollywood started out as a very, as you know, very right-wing sort of area. Mm -hmm. That's why all of the stuff with Dalton Trumbo happened, because people were concerned about communists and all kinds of stuff, and then we had the blacklist and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Then it made a shift, and yeah. it went to the left. And so Hollywood fluctuates depending on who is in. Mm -hmm. And when I say who is in, I don't mean who's in office, <laughs> it's who's in style. I lived in Los Angeles for a year and a half working on another show, and I have never been more harassed for being a Republican than I was in the time that I lived there. So maybe it's a a different kind of place. Mm -hmm. I've never felt that way in New York City. I've mm -hmm. never felt that place where, where place well, any place else. But I will say, <laughs> but I will say that New York it is, is, is brave. Is all artists making a stand, all commentators making a stand. On this show, we all come out and make opinions that are controversial mm -hmm. every day. We every person on this panel knows what it feels like. Yes, it is brave. But I am saying that I think when you talk to people like Tim Allen, there is it is more socially acceptable to be an Obama supporter, to be a Hillary Clinton supporter, to be a Bernie supporter than it would be to be any conservative. Except supporter. that all the conservatives are working. They're the ones who have the jobs. Tim Allen has never stopped They're working. They're all working. Uh, uh, oh, shoot. Uh -oh. Tom Selleck, thank Tom you. Selleck. <laughs> Periodically, the brain just goes. Do you goes. believe James There's Woods life. that he's retiring for his politics? Yeah, but no. most conservatives get one person on every panel other than on Fox News. So there is an element of minority to being a conservative in mainstream anything. We may disagree on it. I don't obviously know Hollywood Trust me, history. I've been a minority my whole life, but I'm not the only one that has experienced that. You, you would be surprised to find out how much of the fluctuation has gone on. I'll give you some books.